Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I will be helping you how to approach junctions at the end of the road where it is on a hill, maybe going up or going down. So how do you stop, prepare and then move off on those kind of junctions? First, I will explain and then I will show you how it's done in practice. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so don't miss any of my future videos and let's start the lesson. Okay, let's talk about junctions, approaching junctions where we have to go left and right and the junctions are on a hill, maybe going up or going down. Now, imagine this is a junction and you want to go left or right and you have to go and stop at the line, maybe because it's a traffic light and it's red or maybe because you can't see who's coming and you have to stop or maybe because you can't see but there are cars and you have to go and stop. Now because you have to stop, you have to ask the question before you reach the end is that, is this junction on a hill going up or going down? Now when I say hill, the hill doesn't have to be a big hill like going up quite steep. It could be a small hill. Even if it's a small hill, you still have to prepare your car according to if it's up or if it's down. So I am helping you in this video how to prepare when you stop to go left and right if it's on a hill. Now, if it's a hill going up or going down, it will depend how you prepare your car when you stop here. So for example, on this junction, we want to go right. We look at the top and right mirror we signal right and we position ourselves towards left of center on the right hand side. And then we will cover the brake and cover the clutch as we approach. So we cover and then we start braking, braking. And just before we stop at the line, because maybe because the traffic light is red or maybe because we have to, because, because there's cars on the other side. Just before we stop, we put the clutch down to the floor and brake until the car stops fully. When the car stops, put the handbrake on, go to first gear. And then, while you are waiting, give gas. Because it's an uphill, imagine this is an uphill. Because it's an uphill, give gas around 2000 rev. Bring the clutch up to the biting point and then prepare the handbrake, but don't take it down. You prepare the handbrake as if you are ready to go as soon as you find a gap. Then you wait until you find a gap. Once you do, release the handbrake really slowly. Bring the clutch up fraction until car starts to move. When it does, you hold the clutch for a little longer until the car moves off fully. Gradually bring the clutch all the way up. Give a little gas and you move off. But say this junction was on a hill down, which means the preparation here would have to be different. The, the approach is the same, but when you come here, you stop, put the handbrake on, go to first gear. And then you wait until you find a gap. Once you find a gap, leave the clutch down to the floor and you put the brake on and take the handbrake off. And the car will not move even if it's on a downhill because you've got the brake on. So make sure the brake is on, clutch is down, take the handbrake off and wait for the gap. Once you find the gap, release the brake slowly until car starts to move. At that point, make sure the clutch is down, just release the brake. As you release the brake, which is the foot brake, car will start to move. And as the car moves, release the brake all the way up and bring the clutch up all the way. Car will go and then give a little gas and carry on going. But what if the junction is a flat? It's not up or down. It's a flat road, which means the preparation would be same as hill, the way you prepare going on uphill. The only difference would be the gas or the rev you give will be slightly less than hill. So if it's hill, you would give 2000 rev. And if it's a flat road, you would give 1500. But the rest is the same as going on an uphill, moving, moving off on a flat. So, okay, this is our right here. Um, is gonna be on the video. Um, are you happy to do that, Rohi? Yeah, I'm happy, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so at the end of this road coming up, we will be turning right 
and this junction is an uphill junction so we will have to prepare to move off on an uphill now top and right mirror signal right okay. now cover the brake and cover the clutch and keep braking until the car stops fully just before the car stops fully put the clutch down to the floor and keep braking until the car stops when it does put the handbrake on go to first gear and then set the gas because it's hill around 2000 rev and bring the clutch up halfway to the biting keep looking both way while you are looking prepare the handbrake ready to go but don't take it down yet keep looking until you find a gap hold the handbrake once you find the gap take the handbrake off slowly and bring the clutch up gradually until the car starts to move when it does start steering hold the clutch for a little bit longer once the car moves off give a little gas and bring the clutch all the way up at the end of this road coming up we will be turning right and um, as you can see it's a downhill so we will prepare top and right mirror signal right and as you can see this is a downhill and is controlled by traffic light so we will approach the line and because it's red we will stop at the line and prepare a downhill start to move off from this traffic light we'll have to wait until it's green so we put the handbrake on go to first gear and we wait for the traffic light to change to green before we move off so we will wait and when it does change we will leave the clutch down and put the brake on and take the handbrake off and then when the traffic light changes which is now is green just release the brake car starts to move and then gradually bring the clutch up and give a little gas and clutch fully up okay um i hope i have given you enough information on this video for you to understand how to move off on a junction when you stop um, always read the road as you approach the junction and know that is this junction on an uphill or is it on a downhill because for you to move off it will depend according to the junction if the junction is uphill the moving off preparation will be different than moving off on a downhill junction or even if it's a flat it will be different so uh, always approach by reading the junction what kind of junction you are approaching is it up is it down or is it on a flat road i hope this helps this video Okay, that's it for today and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give a thumbs up and make a comment what you think of the video. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And hope to see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.